Welcome to the Tyler W. IQ software series, where in this session, we're going to take a look at Epic Pen, a software tool designed to write on your desktop as an overlay. Here we go. For years of doing live and online presentations and holding conferences, I've determined that I'd like to be able to write on the screen to do diagrams or highlight items in my presentation for students or collaborators to see. Using an online drawing tool works very well. I've tried many over the years. I finally settled on an Epic Pen as my overlay program to write on the screen. Let me show you what I use for hardware. I use an Intuos Pen and Touch from Wacom as my input device. So this thing is just what it says. It's an input device. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't come with software to write on the screen. Uh, effectively, it comes with a pen and it's a touchpad. So they call it their Pen and Touch and it allows me to move the mouse around on the screen to do whatever a mouse would do. However, it doesn't draw. It is really just a big touchpad, which gives me a finer granularity. So I could bring up the paint program and actually draw and paint with this because it's my cursor. But that's not what I want. I want to be able to overlay, I want to be able to overwrite an overlay on the whole screen. So if I've got a PowerPoint presentation up, I can write on it. Or if I'm just trying to do a demo of some sort, I can highlight things. So this is my input device. And what we're going to do is install Epic Pen and use this to draw on the screen. So let's start by finding Epic Pen. In your browser of choice, type Epic Pen. I'm using Chrome here. To locate Epic Pen's website. From the site, download. And when you download, you see there's a basic and a pro version. Uh, you can always upgrade later on, download the free version for Windows. If you look at the differences, you got a pen, which is your, your writing implement, an eraser or highlighter. You can screenshot anything that you've written, and you have 16 different colors to pick from in the free version. It's always for free. It's not a trial. So we'll download the free version. The free version is completely downloaded now, so we'll hit the, hit the uh, setup program. I'll minimize my Chrome and we'll watch the setup occur. Accept the agreement. Choose the defaults. You can change them if you like. I will create a desktop shortcut so it's easy for me to find later and do the install. And Epic Pen is now installed. Let's take a look at how Epic Pen works. Okay, now I can use my touchpad, my pen and touch in Tuos board to move my mouse around. I can go over, double click Epic Pen to launch Epic Pen. Again, this is the program that I'm going to use to write on my screen. I can click and hold and drag just like I'm using my mouse, but I'm actually using my pen. And now what can I do? Well, I can draw on my screen. So there's my drawing pencil. Hello, world. And it's actually an overlay program. If I were to capture this, if I were to do an alt print screen, um, and I can actually do a capture here uh, within Epic Pen, it will grab the background and the foreground. I can save it to a file, copy to the clipboard. I'm just going to cancel out here. I won't save one. Uh, if I'm done with it, I can erase the whole board. Again, this is my cursor. So I can go back over if I wanted to. Well, I have I still have Chrome in my taskbar. So if I bring it back up, I want to scroll down and just point out the differences to you with the pay for version and the free version. So I can activate my pen and we didn't have lines and squares available. So with the purchase version, you have lines and, and squares. You have the text tool, the arrow tool, uh, a whiteboard that you didn't have before. And you have the 24 colors. Oh, there I, I can just undo that. I have 24 colors now instead of 16 colors. Uh, the overlay, again, anytime you want to do demos of any sort, it just sits there. It does not write in the actual program. So if you move it around, you can see it's just really just that overlay piece. Minimize Chrome again. Uh, delete what we have there and everything is fine. You can also tell when you're looking the new features. There's the line tool. It's got the little pink dot in it. So if I try to activate the line, that wants you to buy it. So it's, done, it's not available, but that's what's in the actual screen for you. Just like uh, the whiteboard uh, is, uh, is one of the premium pay-for 
components. And when you pick colors, you have just a small set of colors. If you do the purchase, you get a larger set. Do you need them? You don't. You can get by with exactly what you have right here on the screen. Everything that you need. Uh, it's wonderful. I don't have any issues with it. I use it on a regular basis. Love, love Epic Pen. I hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching and join me for more installs and reviews in my Tyler WIQ software series. <laughs>